Hello, my name is Sungmin Kim. I'm a master's student studying organ performance at Ithaca College with Dr. Matthew Hall. I'm currently on campus, so I'm using the organ at Ford Hall. The piece I'm playing is a chorale prelude by Bach based off the Lutheran hymn tune, Aus tiefer Not Schrei ich zu dir, which translates to, out of deep anguish, I cry out unto you. The hymn tune talks about repentance and asking for forgiveness and finding healing through mercy. The hymn is usually played during funerals and times of great hardship like plagues, so I thought it was relevant for today. To me, the polyphonic nature of the piece has a voice is crying out in imitation insistently, um, which I think conveys a desperate rhetoric of the hymn text. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Ladin. I'm a senior vocal performance major at Ithaca College and I'm coming to you from Ithaca. I've lived here for a bit over a year now and I'm finishing my degree program with six other roommates. So it has been very interesting, um, definitely challenging, um, but I am learning a lot from being homebound and being an opera singer from home. Uh, so the piece Sungman Kim and I have chosen to perform uh, is The Years of the Spring by Amy Beach. This is the first song in her three Browning song cycle, and I learned this cycle um, a little bit over a year ago, um, and I was learning it for my junior recital. Uh, when I first started to work on this piece, it was one of those weird moments where everything just felt right. It felt good in my body, it felt good to sing, it made me happy, it just felt good. And I find that it's one of those rare pieces that singers find that immediately just makes sense to them and they don't really have to put that much thought into it. And I was lucky to find this piece because uh, that doesn't usually happen to me that frequently. Um, and going into what the piece means to me, it's meaning a lot to me right now. Uh, the piece really talks about the beauty of nature, the beauty of spring, the rebirth of the world during the springtime. And I find that this piece is really reminding me to go out into nature and reconnect myself to myself, to the world around me. Um, it's grounding me again. I feel like we're all very terrified of the world right now. And um, this piece really tells you that we need to stay connected to nature. And that's gonna be the only way that we can really stay grounded in this crazy time um, and how that translates to music as healing. Um, I find that nature is a huge medicine. It relaxes you. It helps you find yourself in a lot of ways when you feel like life is out of control and life definitely feels like it's out of control right now. Um, so I am just very, very happy to be able to perform this for you all, and I really hope you enjoy. Thank you. Johnson. I'm a second year bassoon graduate performance major here at Ithaca College studying with Dr. Kristen Schillinger. Um, I'm originally from the Chicago area but I'm currently in Ithaca. And the piece we'll be hearing today is Vivaldi's Bassoon Concerto in B-flat Major, RV 503. The first movement will be um, played with Muse Yi on piano and the second and third movements will be with Harris Anderson. The reason I chose this piece is because I feel it does very much go with the music is healing aspect of this concert. Each movement has its own character and within each movement there's also multiple different characters that I feel represent how I've felt throughout the um, pandemic, quarantine, current political state of the United States. Um, and hopefully you can also hear those different um, characters throughout the piece and maybe come to your own conclusion. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy.
Greetings from Ithaca, New York. I'm Emma Time. I'm a junior classical guitar student, dual majoring in music and gerontology at Ithaca College. And my primary teacher is Pablo Cohen. I'm sharing two songs that I wrote, Be Kind and Learn to Listen. Both of these songs honor our similarities and our differences throughout the world and across time. And it's from this place that we have the power to say no to violence and actively cultivate peace. I offer this to you, music as healing. This is Be Kind.
This is Learn to Listen. Hi, my name is Natalie Mejia. I'm a first year master's student studying trumpet performance under Dr. Aaron Wittick. I'm also a member of the Ithaca College Trumpet Ensemble. We've chosen the piece Celebration by Dr. Wittick to perform on this concert's theme, Music is Healing. 
We chose this piece because we love the positive energy and emotion that it portrays. Positivity and keeping a positive mindset is essential to our continuous healing throughout this difficult time. We really enjoyed making music with each other remotely and we hope that you enjoy this performance.